Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Foundation. This is not a true episode, but it's going to be a mini update where I kind of explain uh, what my plans are for the near future. I teased throughout this series the idea of a new channel. Uh, why a new channel? You guys know me. A lot of you will know me as Unite the Clans. This new channel is going to be called Leave on Plays. That's my real name. And uh, I have a reason for doing this, guys. And uh, the one thing I wanted to give you a heads up is we had five, this is the fifth day of videos on Foundation this week. And this one doesn't really count. It's more of just an update as we follow Carlo, one of our transporters around town. And you get to see the village we have created together. I really love it. Foundation was great. And the reason that I was inspired to start this new channel is over the last year I have tried a lot of different games on my main channel and uh, the the thing with YouTube is they will sometimes almost always put you in a box they'll figure out why people subscribe to you and when you make those videos they'll push them out when you make other videos and they go not as many people are checking this out they learn that and they learn not to necessarily show everybody the other games you played and I am so grateful that I have an audience for Ark Survival Evolved and specifically for building in that game uh, because I'm good at it and I feel like it's a great creative expression when I do get to build uh, in Ark or in other games, whatever. Um, but, uh, but I have learned through playing a lot of different games that YouTube doesn't quite like that and it actually starts to affect the number of people that discover the ARC videos. So my main channel will, will be about ARC and occasionally, maybe in the future, I'll find another great uh, uh, game that allows me to build and to share with you the community I've built around ARC, the geeks. But when I have games that are going to be just me let's playing like I've done with this, not tutorials and not uh, with a community, I think I need another outlet for that. And one, I have the Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv slash unite the clans. You can find me there. When a game is really well suited to being played live, I think Frostpunk fits in there. And I actually think the one I mentioned last episode, The Long Dark, actually fits better on Twitch. It's a great live game. People can hang out while I'm playing and there's a lot of downtime in between. This game was really well suited to Let's Plays. I could spend the first episode going, here's how you get started. Uh, you know, we did woodcutters and foragers and berry markets, and uh, we got to the point where we could build our Lord's Manor. And I think that makes a good episode. And then the next one, we got into farming. We did sheep farms, and you guys, you guys have learned uh, with Foundation this, those sort of chains, right? Sheep farm to weaver to clothing uh, market stall. And then uh, wheat farm to windmill to bakery to bread selling stall. And now uh, we finally got into the last iteration of the game. And I'm a, I'll am ai mention this in a second. I'm a Kickstarter backer, didn't have tool making. So now there is iron mining, coal production, turning the iron and coal into ingots, turning the coal in ingots into your own tools. And you can see we've got a giant supply of them now. We're ready to build another mega structure. But the stage that this game is at you kind of just start repeating the same steps over and over, which is why we've decided to call it a series and we'll come back to this when there is more. We'll start a, start a new and build a new city and who knows, there will be new environments. Right now it's hills and coastal. And right now you have those three major industry chains. When they add a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, this world is going to get more complex and they're going to add more beautiful buildings like the blacksmith and the smelters that you're seeing on the screen right now. By the way, dealing with allergies today and these bags under my eyes, I literally look 10 years older. I look like a much older man than in episodes one through four. Um, anyway, the, the point is I want an outlet for when I'm into a game, but I know that YouTube and my, my Unite the Clans audience won't be as into that game. YouTube won't push it out to everybody. I wanted an outlet. My One of my dreams starting this was to just be a Let's Player, to be able to play the games I'm passionate about with no pretense, without thinking about search engine optimization and thumbnails and clickbaity titles, and build an audience that follows me anywhere I go to any game I'm passionate about. My example for that was Corrales. Pretty much anything he plays, roughly the same number of people will come check it out, and occasionally he finds a hit. But... Um, I don't think that that sort of path is is happening with my main channel. And I think by playing so many different games over the last year, I've actually diminished how many people come to the channel for the ARC stuff. So I'm going to keep that channel up. I am going to share the geeks community and I'm going to share my love of building. And then there will be other games. We will play some of them on Twitch, links for everything in the description, and some of them here on this new channel. Um, and I, I love that. I want as many... I want 
if if I'm into a game, I want to be able to share it with you, and I want to make sure I have outlets for each each and every type of thing that's in my world. I want to be able to share it all with you. And uh, Foundation, I really don't think too many folks would have checked it out on the main channel, so let's just do it here, and we will build an audience here that will hopefully go to any game I play, and that's what I'm hoping from you guys. And because I'm going to start this with variety and base it around variety, if the channel ever manages to grow... That's the audience that, that will be there, not an audience that comes for a thing, which I, I really, that is the audience I built with Unite the Clans. They came for ARC, building first, then exploration, and kind of anything else I did never really got a whole lot of momentum, and we might as well bring that here. If there's only going to be a couple hundred people that check it out, let's start that with a new channel, and let's build a new channel around variety and... Um, me being my happiest, somebody mentioned that, that you don't seem as happy as you used to be. And I think that happens. You play a game for long enough or you feel boxed in by YouTube where these are the only games I can play. And especially if you get to a point where you're relying on the income you've created, um, which I haven't had a job for a year, guys, which is kind of remarkable considering how the channel is not that big. Uh, and I don't make a crazy amount on AdSense. And the real reason I've been independent and self-employed for so long is the Patreon community. So that's going to continue to be a big part of the Unite the Clans channel. Um, I think when Fallout 76 comes out, whether that's got great building or not, that should be and hopefully will be a great place to play with my community. So, um, so, so I look forward to those kind of games. And then when there is a game that's me on my own, like this and just sharing a love of a game i'm going to be really happy i'm going to have a big smile on my face and i'm going to be excited to be learning and discovering the new game this is where that is going to happen this and on the twitch channel which will be a little bit more for games that are i think like i mentioned the long dark will be suited to hanging out live and and working sharing together that uh the 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 struggle of the game and then when i get to feature things like i do in this game and go then the next episode was how do we build a church and then how do we build a giant cathedral those make great episodes and i love this medium this is the medium that attracted me to make a youtube channel in the first place which is um you know 20 to 35 minute videos about playing a game and somebody loving that game and if this channel never grows and i'm not really going to worry about ads at first on this channel until we build some kind of momentum i didn't edit in ad breaks there'll be one at the start of the video and maybe one at the end of the video but i'm not going to go every 10 minutes let's take a break for an ad like like you do uh on on when i'm making a building tutorial i plan those into it right um how long have i been babbling probably long enough guys the the bottom line is if you have found your way to this channel expect variety and i guess the other thing did i mention this i rec recorded it and i i wasn't recording so if i'm repeating myself apologies but um the other thing to say is because i have those three outlets i have my main channel where i'm going to be doing new building tutorials the zoo series i'm going to go c start recording today with my friend tag and then um uh, hopefully some new exploration videos in the future. If I have that, if I have Twitch, where I'm going to be live streaming with some regularity, and I have this, I'm not going to be able to do them all prolifically all at the same time. So what, what I'm saying is I don't really have next week planned for this channel. So what you might see is a week like this, five videos on a game where I'm into it, and we're exploring it and we're learning it together. And then you might see a week off while I get the next thing going and I figure out what the next game is that suits this channel and you guys. Uh, so expect maybe a little up and down and I think I'm beginning to tell the Twitch audience to expect that. I started off trying to do five days a week, three hours a day. I am somebody who works passionately on things and then I burn out a little bit and I need a break. And when I have three outlets, hopefully those burnouts I can, I can take a break from Twitch while continuing to pump out content here and on the main channel. Or I can take a break here and I can continue to stream and, and make videos for the main channel. That's where I'd like to take the fewest breaks. But the bottom line is, over this last year of self-employment, I've had a few real stretches of getting depressed. And uh, it's not depression without explanation, which I think a lot of people deal with. They're depressed and they can't even explain it. It's an awful crushing feeling and I don't always have that. I all, It always comes down to this and wanting to have a way to express myself, to do what I want to do with gaming and making videos in the world. And really, I want to make an impact in the world. So down the road, there's going to be a channel that's about life and finding the meaning of life, more vlog style. Um, and 
anyway, it's I got a long journey ahead of me making videos on the internet, but the bottom line is I need the right balance, and I needed a place to be able to share a game like Foundation with you and build an audience around games like this, and that was the concept behind this channel. So expect maybe a week on and a week off here and there until I get into a real good rhythm with it, and I, I find that balance that will keep me from hitting those stretches of depression. Um, and I think having games like this and, and being able to just play and not think about how will this affect my ARC videos, how many people will see this. I just want to play it and share it. I think this is I think this will help so uh, this is the new channel if you found it through the foundation series thank you if you're watching if you're still watching this and you're brand new you probably don't need all this backstory and all this explanation but before we wrap up this series um, and you might see a week off I wanted to make a little video with a mini update sort of explaining things and uh, and yeah we will find the next game that suits this channel I have something in mind but I need to get into it and play it like I did with foundation before I decided to do a series and figure out exactly how it would work um but that's it guys thank you for hanging out throughout this series if you subscribed amazing the other places to follow me if you want more content are youtube.com slash unite the clans twitch.tv slash unite the clans because when i'm not doing something here i will be doing something on one of those two spots so that's it thank you for hanging out i uh, hope hope you're excited for a future of a new channel of let's plays uh unabashed and, and not worried about a giant audience or ads or anything uh, just worried about games and me being as happy as I can possibly be that's it thank you for watching uh, and I will see you in the next series for this channel